Hello everybody. Tender Norris. Uh, I'm going to review Chrono Trigger. But before I begin. Boom! I got inheritance today. I'm going to read this sucker. It's only 10 pages shorter than Harry Potter Order of the Phoenix. 860 pages of pure awesome. This one. Okay, so Chrono Trigger. I'm going to base it on three categories. Gameplay, characters, and story. Totaling up to 30 total points. I use annotations, but, you know, I really don't feel like editing this video all that much, so... Screw up. This is all completely live. Don't even care what do I know. Okay. So, we'll start with gameplay. Chrono Trigger is... It's got great gameplay. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy and you've never played Chrono Trigger, pick it up and give it a try. It's a lot like Final Fantasy, but Chrono Trigger came first. So... I think it came first. Hmm. There was a square, so it really doesn't matter which came first. But Chrono Trigger is part of the Final Fantasy series. It's complete. I'm completely serious about that. Made by Square, part of the Final Fantasy series, and some some people agree with me, some disagree. That's your opinion, not mine. Um, the gameplay is okay. On a difficulty setting, it gets a little difficult at times. Usually between late and active, which is great for those of us who want challenges to be active, i.e., me, those who don't want challenges to wait. I chose wait for my LP because if I chose active, you would know what I'm doing. But that's completely okay. For. Those of you who think that this gameplay is horrible, it's not. You haven't played it long enough to be able to tell for real. Um, the animations are really interesting, which I'll put under the gameplay. The graphics are good, also under the gameplay. Um, overall score, 8 out of 10 for gameplay. It's a great game to play. I'll give it a shot. And now on the characters. There are six characters to choose from, I believe. Seven characters, sorry, seven. Uh, of course, you've got your main character, Chrono, who uses. who's got a wide variety of sword attacks. And then he can mix them up with some magic that other people can cast and such. It's a great thing. It's great. So you've got Chrono, who uses white magic. Frog and Marley they both use water magic. Luka uses fire magic. Uh, Robo can't use magic, but later just fall into the those of that of dark. And Ava is your biggest physical attack, but she can't run magic either. Magus already knows all magic. He uses all of them. But he specializes in dark magic, as you've seen if you watch my entire LP. Another one. Yes. Okay. I won't spoil out the story for you, but uh, you don't need to get Magus. Although I recommend getting him. He's important. Sort of. He's really useful. So when the characters do develop, uh. Chrono doesn't really develop, he doesn't have any dialogue at all. He doesn't develop at all. No. Marley develops a little bit. Luca develops a good amount. Frog develops massively. Magus doesn't develop at all. No, he doesn't develop. Robo can't develop, he's a robot. 
He does develop, though. See, right, does develop just a little bit. So as far as characters go, I'm giving this a 7 out of 10 for characters. And now on to the last one. The story. The story was pretty linear. You know, you don't have to do something, although you might want to anyway. Let's do an example. Um... Oh, here's one. I did all the side stuff you don't have to do. I did all of it because I felt like doing it. Great. It's a good stuff. So, once you finish the game, there's nothing else to add yourself for New Game Plus, which is just the same thing if you start with magic, and all your stats are coming all the same. Levels and everything. The techniques are reset though. They don't want you starting to get with new man pulling everything without even trying. Okay. Oh well. Anyway. There will be in the SNES version. That's all there is. In the DS version, however, there's some more extra stuff that I will not be showing. And there's also something you do after you clear the regular gameplay, which is why the level score is easier in the DS version than in the SNES version. For the rest of the story, pretty linear, easy to understand, not too much of a problem. Just keep an eye on it. And that's it I think Let's see ah right so for care for story I give it a nine out of ten so that runs about twenty four out of thirty yeah, it's a good it's a good game it's a really good game and I would recommend it for anyone That's my review, and that's what I'm going to stick with. I've got a book to read, so I want you guys to uh, give a comment, try, try, watch my LP, do me some favors, um, like, comment, check out my channel, and subscribe. I will see you guys later. Keep it real.